Lawyer Miguna Miguna was to fly back home to Canada on the weekend of his arrest, his wife Jane Miguna has said. Mrs. Miguna revealed this in an interview with a Canadian news magazine, Maclean's, a few hours after her husband was ejected from Nairobi. The fiery NASA politician was put on a flight headed for Amsterdam then Canada on Tuesday night, his lawyer said. Controversy The government, in defense of its actions, said the lawyer had renounced his Kenyan citizenship and also failed to disclose that he had obtained Canadian citizenship. In the interview published on the magazine's website, Mrs. Maguna said that her husband, who was arrested at his run to home by police on Friday, had informed their three children that he would be traveling back home. The children, she said, were expecting their father that weekend but he never showed up, with her efforts to trace her husband, proving futile. They were expecting their father to return on the weekend. They are already asking why didn't daddy come, and I am just telling them he has an engagement, she said. And since she did not want them to worry, she did not tell them about their father's arrest. She says she tried to trace Mr. Miguna for several days and made frantic calls to the case manager at the Canadian High Commission in Nairobi after police failed to produce him in court as ordered. From Sunday to yesterday, she was not even able to tell me if Miguna was dead or alive, Mrs. Miguna said. She added, that really worried me, because the commissioner was not even able to get information from the Kenyan government to assure her that they are holding him and he's alive. Really, although she may have information but she is not giving it to me. At least somebody should be able to tell me, yes, he's alive. But no. I was not told anything. They just say they are aware of the case and they are working on it. She said her husband was just being used as a scapegoat by the Kenyan government. Mr. Miguna was arrested in connection with the swearing-in of NASA leader Rayla Odinga. Mr. Roding took the oath as the people's president in Nairobi on last Tuesday. Mr. Miguna Tuesday narrated how he was held incommunicado for five days without access to his family or a lawyer following his arrest last Friday. He said police officers humiliated him by locking him up in conditions unfit for human existence. Mr. Miguna was speaking at the Cagiato Law Courts where he was taken after his arrest last Friday on suspicion of taking part in a ceremony in which opposition chief Rayla Odinga was sworn in as the People's President on January 30. Reports of his deportation come hours after High Court Judge Luca Gamaru barred the Director of Criminal Investigations, DCI, and the Inspector General, IG, of the police from preferring any criminal charges against him.